Justin Leo Kennedy, and I am the director of the Music Technology Ensemble here at Western Carolina University. What you just heard was an original student composition and production. In fact, all the works you hear tonight are original student compositions and productions. Tonight's performances are coming to you from three separate studios within the Center for Applied Technology. This broadcast is a collaboration between the Commercial Music and Audio Production Program and the Broadcast Department here at WCU. I would like to thank Professor Ethan King and his audio production students, Professor Matt Binford and his broadcast students, and I'd also, on a personal note, like to thank my wife, who just recently gave birth to our first child and who has been supportive of me my entire career, allowing me to do what I love, which is help students to realize their musical dreams. So right now, you're looking at the control room. This is where all the sound is routed. There's also another control room for broadcasting. Like I said, the performances are coming from three separate studios. So the first studio you heard is what's called the live room back there. So now you've seen the control room, you've seen the live room, but let's throw it to a studio we affectionately refer to as MIDI A and see what those students are up to.
Good to see you again. Isn't it incredible what our students are doing here at WCU? And we've had a lot of great performances tonight, but we have one more. This next performance uses a special piece of hardware that makes it possible for a plant to generate musical sound. In order to learn more about this, we caught up earlier this week with student Ethan Waldo, who's going to explain it for you. Take a look. My name is Ethan Waldo, and I am a commercial music and audio production major here at WCU, and I am in the performance technology studio. Um, I wrote a piece of music today, and it will be played by this little glowing box along with the plant. So this is a biodata sonification device that I've built. Um, it measures changes in an electrical current with these electrodes here and then those changes in the electrical current are turned into MIDI data. And that MIDI data can be played by virtual instruments. Anything living um, or anything that can conduct electricity can complete a circuit. So um, these two electrodes here, if I remove them from the plant, you'll see the lights turn off in that little box. And then when I hold them, You'll see the lights turn on, and then I can actually raise the volume of the instrument. And so that is my biodata creating that sound. 
and turn that back down and hook it back up to the plant. And it's the resistances from either the plant or the living thing that creates those fluctuations in the data. So now that it's hooked up back to the plant, I can raise the volume again and we can hear the wind chimes again. I titled the piece Dracaena trifasciata, um, which is the scientific name for a snake plant. Um, there was a study done by NASA a while back that found that snake plants produce more oxygen than the average house plant. Um, so I tried to make the piece um, use a lot of bright and airy sounds. Um, you'll hear like the wind chimes, for example, the plant controls those as well as a couple of synthesizers and stuff. Um, and then I use the Lydian mode, which is a lot brighter than the major mode. Um, so again, trying to make these lofty, airy, bright sounds. Um, you'll hear like a high pass filter create kind of a wind sound with white noise. Um, so yeah. <laughs> 